Hey TGC, this is Brandon. Um, this is going to be a video basically just rambling and stuff because I haven't really had a video like this in a long time. And um, yeah, I feel like talking and stuff on some thoughts about things going on in the TTC and in the college football world and everything. So here I go, I guess. Um, just kicking back right now. Of course, with the LSU Fighting Tigers Cup, can't drink without it. And just enjoying this nice sun. Yeah, it's real, real pretty out out today. So, yeah. But first things first, this TTCU and um, STD thing. I have a big announcement on that. I am not going to do TTC or, or STD. I'm just going to do the LSU Tiger Club, basically, which means I do what I want, pretty much. And, um, so, yeah, but, but, yeah, so, no, none of that crap, I'm, just gonna make videos as I please and make videos for what I know best, my LSU Tigers, and that's it. So I'm not joining any gang or clique or whatever on the TTC. Honestly, I think it's stupid, and um, and you should just rep your team, and that should be it. But that's just me. That's just my opinion. But going on to my news and why I'm making videos is talking LSU football. Um. Jeremy Hill, um, some new information on him, which, which I'm sure most of y'all know because of my buddy Micah's videos, was arrested in a bar fight, and um, he was suspended indefinitely, but some new news has came up that the other guy who started the fight was arrested and everything, and um, Jeremy Hill's probation is just going to be um, more restricted and stuff, so I'm hoping that um, Les Miles and LSU is going to give him a second chance because we really need him on our offense next year. I mean, he did things that I haven't seen in a lot of years and stuff, and I really think he's just going to do nothing but get better and better. Um, and, I'm, and, he, and I heard he's gaining more muscle and stuff like that, and I have a feeling, I have a real feeling, mark my words, if Jeremy Hill comes back to LSU and really gets his crap together, I think he might be a possible Heisman candidate or, hell, I think he might even win a national championship. He reminds me a lot of Trent Richardson. I know that sounds funny, but to me he's better than Trent Richardson. I mean, look at what he's done his freshman year against South Carolina and Alabama and stuff. I mean, he's done some impressive stuff. So, but, yeah, um, other news, um, our strength, our schedule this year, um, we have one of the toughest schedules in all the SEC right now. We got to play Texas A&M, Alabama, Florida, Georgia. Um, we got to play pretty much everybody and their brothers. So, and 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 come to think about it, I did some research today, and guess where the L guess where excuse me where guess where the SEC offices are in good old Tuscaloosa, and the guy who does them is Alabama graduate. So. No wonder they, they only get to play Tennessee and Vanderbilt and we get stuck with every damn powerhouse in the SEC, which I'm not complaining because I like actually seeing our team compete, compete and um, play hard because that's what we're known for. And, um, yeah, and I think we will overcome everything that's put in our way because it seems like that's what we do here at LSU, so... And that's the thing I like about LSU is how they overcome everything, all the odds put against them. But, um, but yeah, so, it's just a lot of crap. I mean, I'm just really hoping LSU does something this year. Even if we just win a regular bowl game this year, we have had, okay, so, so you go back a year before we lost the national championship to Alabama, perfect 13-0 and schedule, beating everyone by double digits except the Alabama game, which is understandable because look how dominant both defenses were and, they barely, and both teams barely scored anything, but really our team just didn't show up for the um, national championship. And Chick, go, go on to the Chick-fil-A Bowl. 
I really think I I believe in my heart that um we thought that um Clemson was gonna do what they normally do and lay down and um and take the beating, but I guess they finally got up and said, Hey, we're not gonna do this anymore, so Yeah, but we really got to get it together, though. I mean, I really feel like this new group of freshmen and these new recruits coming in are going to do something big at LSU. But only time will tell. But And I really like that Les Miles is trying to recruit more better players that care about the team and stuff and that, and that aren't getting suspended every two weeks and getting in bar fights and stuff. And, I mean, that's, that's the thing I don't like because that takes away talent from our team and then, you know, that's the thing I never get is why do these kids want to get in trouble when they've got everything in the palm of their hand, you know, playing for these big universities and stuff, going to the NFL and stuff. Why are you going to throw that away over a little bar fight? That's the thing I don't get. Because if you look back to Tyron Matthew, Jordan Jefferson and all them, if they if, if all them stayed out of trouble, they would have easily been top ten picks in the NFL draft. But I guess, you know... Kids these days, you know, they don't think about that. They just think about their egos and how big and bad they are. But that's the society we live in today. So, you know, but, but yeah, in other news, football, um, you know, I've been thinking a lot recently about who's going to the, uh, who's going to be good next, this year. Um, I'm just really interested to see how next year goes. As long as Alabama doesn't win it again, then I'm happy. But, I mean... We really want it to be us, but but I'm realistic. We're we're gonna have a real young team and a young defense, and with Cam Cameron changing the offense, and that's another thing I wanted to touch base on is Cam Cameron changing up the offense, um, going at a lot faster pace. The best way Zach Mentberger ha had an interview and he said the best way to describe LSU's new offense is an Oregon offense with a running game, which I think that will be great because we'll we'll have a similar style offense to Clemson and Oregon but still have our running game with Alfred Blue and um I'm trying to think and um I'm trying to remember I think uh, hopefully Kenny Hilliard's still on the team. I know Michael Ford and Spencer Ware are gone. I might be wrong about Kenny Hilliard, but and and Jeremy Hill if he stays, I think that would be great for us, you know, as far as the running game goes cuz he can pretty much tack go over anybody and still go along, but but I mean we got a lot to prove next year, and I really think I'm really excited to see what we do because all LSU fans and I and I might you, I might get hate for this, but this might be the very year LSU does something real big when no one expects us to do nothing. Because if you look back at 2011 when we went through that schedule and kicked everyone's ass, we pretty much you know no everyone was predict predicting us to lose three or four games. So I mean this might be the very year LSU does something. So don't count LSU out at all but but yeah and I mean things going on and last but not least things going on in the TTC um I just think you know people hating on each other getting into personal feelings and stuff man that's not cool I mean I know we're here to mess around and talk and stuff but some of you people take it to a whole nother extent and um and I mean getting into personal feelings, calling each other gay and stuff like that. I mean, and as a Christian, I just, I mean, I might get hate for this, but I'm I'm not, I'm going to be real and everything, but as a Christian and stuff, not even, even if you're not a Christian, it's good not to, it's not good not to treat people the way you'd want to be treated, because I mean, because I mean, really think about it, guys, would you say something to that dude and, to their face in real life? That's the way I say it, because people tend to have bigger egos on the computer than they do on the, um, in real life, but it is what it is. I'm ready to do some trash talking, and that's what it should be: is trash talking each other's teams, not getting over who's fat or who's or who's a fat.